My journey with the Resident Evil series has been profound, with unforgettable characters and the game's compelling stories. Except six. No thanks, bro. No thanks, bro. However, one of my biggest pivotal moments with the series was completing Resident Evil 4 Remake in VR. Venturing into this experience was nothing short of insanity, but how does it stack up against the VR version of the original? Let's find out. Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and we're doing a deep dive on the VR modes of the remake and the old game. Not only do we uncover how the new iteration elevates the original VR experience, but also how it masterfully fully captures the essence of the beloved classic. Before we begin, feel free to subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show, especially if you want to join my cult. Resident Evil 4 Remake reintroduces Leon Kennedy, a fan-favorite character in the series. Six years after the events of Resident Evil 2, he finds himself among locals infected with Las Plagas, manipulated through mind control by the Los Illuminados cult. Resident Evil 4 did have its charms as one of the best-looking games in 2005, but it felt more like an action game rather than a horror game. Meanwhile, Resident Evil 4 Remake and its VR mode felt different, more like a horror game. And here's why. Next. A noteworthy improvement we see in Resident Evil 4 Remake's VR mode is the stunning visual upgrade offering a new level of detail that adds more immersion to the game's haunting environment. From the lighting, the eerie atmosphere, the ominous silence, the spatial sounds, and jump scares, all of these elements are heightened in the remake's VR in comparison to the original. For example, as Leon, you will see more details in VR such as houses filled to the brim or gritty details in cult rituals. Every part of the game's environment was like a puzzle piece to its foreboding atmosphere. Statues leaking blood, jingling chains, flying axes, biometric moonlight, the glow of the fireplace on your skin, and distinct enemy shouts like the bullman. While in the original game, the atmosphere felt right, but everything seemed barren. Although I'm aware potential content from the original was missing in the remake, but think about this though. If the remake was 100% like the original, Original, would that make the game any more fun for you? Or predictable? Resident Evil 4 Remake respects the source material, but it brings it in line with the modern vision of the franchise. For example, the locations in the original have been reworked in the remake, and repurposed in a way that's familiar, but more menacing. With some sections cast in pure darkness, like the throne room, the clock tower, the mines, the underground laboratory, and the island, Exploration through these locations are also more immersive thanks to smoother transitions between cutscenes and gameplay. Have you played as Ashley in the VR mode of the Resident Evil 4 Remake? That stealth section was terrifying almost as much as the fetus baby in Resident Evil Village. And it was absolute nightmare fuel, running from regenerators in the remake's VR. Their money don't jiggle jiggle, but something else does on those caked up boys. As you see, the Resident Evil 4 Remake keeps a balance of not sacrificing the atmosphere of the original, but improves upon it. Now let's delve into our second point, comparing gameplay mechanics in the VR modes of the remake and the original game. Both games had interactive and intuitive controls in VR for combat like aiming and weapon interactions for a seamless and immersive experience. However, the VR gameplay in the remake is much more fluid, crisp, and simpler, from responsive movements, swapping weapons, wielding grenades from your vest, enhanced weapon sound effects, item handling, to environmental interactions. <laughs> Reloading weapons is also much smoother in the remake's VR. Although the rate of fire of your weapon can make your reloading experience more frantic, especially when looking after Ashley, and keeping her alive is sometimes the horror part of this game for me. Ashley! 
In addition to this, while the remix VR pulls you through familiar segments from the old game like the courtyard scene, the remake puts you face to face with new enemy types to protect her, enabling you to strategize between taking out enemies, making efficient use of available resources, or your third option, running away like a chicken. The remake in VR provides you a proper balance of healing items, grenades, and craft materials. But with overwhelming enemy groups, your strategic resource use will be put to the test, especially with the red monks. Gloria las plagas. Gloria las plagas. Those enemies will be immense hindrances to you in VR, as they obscure your vision and stun you to the inability of weapon use. Stealthing them was pretty effective, but with epic gamer skills like mine, I lost them. In terms of limited inventory, you have to organize it like a game of Tetris in both games. If you haven't organized your inventory like a game of Tetris, are you really a Resident Evil fan? Upgrades are also essential for facing tougher enemies, making each decision impactful. And some base weapons can do a lot of damage in tearing ligaments off an enemy. Even the base pistol. Your visits to the merchant are more interactive with his requests and fun pirate-themed shooting range. Although you can't kill the merchant like the old game. The improved gameplay in the remix VR mode makes your experience unique when going through familiar segments like escaping the island or avoiding catapult attacks. Ashley. Now on to our next point. Story-wise, the Resident Evil 4 remake fills several plot holes from the original and even gives more depth to the story. Like the Plagos' origin, the region's history, Louise's backstory, and Leon's history with Major Krauser. These slight variations in Resident Evil 4's compelling narrative does influence your VR experience in the remake, as it impacts gameplay, boss fights, and enemy encounters. For example, Louise died to Sadler in the original game, but in the remake, not only are you aware of Louise's association to Umbrella and the cult right away, you spend more time with them by going on a fun minecart ride in VR. Collectively fight the two El Gigante in the Inferno Chamber Got an just for you. and explore the bug-filled catacombs as you have hope for his redemption. The scene shifts to Krauser lodging a knife in his back, leading to an epic knife fight. In the cutscene, Krauser reminds Leon that knives are faster, which you actually apply in first person, fighting Krauser with just knives. Or knife, in my case. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything these last two years? What's wrong? Not looking too steady. You don't leave me with much choice. This segment was more dramatic in comparison to the original with just a cutscene. Not only is Leon reuniting with his old anger-driven mentor, but he's saying goodbye to a friend. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. I'll show you charming, pal. And this boss fight builds up to Krauser's final fight on the island, which you have an option to use knives for, or guns. Knives are better for close encounters after all. <laughs> Aside from Krauser's fight, the remix VR version not only recreates these boss fights from the original, but elevates them to a whole new level. The sheer scale and detail of the enemies coupled with the immersive VR environment make each encounter more dramatic and intimidating. Big Cheese becomes Grilled Cheese. The Chainsaw Sisters learn what a shotgun is. Sorry, you're not my type. If you hate bugs, you'll hate them more after this mode. Vertigo is much quicker and more menacing. You son of a bitch!
Garador is sharper and more rageful as it seems to be more aware of your whereabouts in the remake's VR despite distracting it. Del Lago becomes sashimi as you defeat it with harpoons on the boat ride. Salazar's boss fight was improved in the remake. You could say it was an excellent experience. You were nothing but a if you were. But um, the regenerators. Oh, I don't want to talk about those jiggly boys. The fight with Osman Sadler has been recreated well in the remake. Although I didn't realize he would be small time with a rocket launcher to the face. You're still small time, Sadler. Overall, the bosses, the characters, the enemies, the detailed environments, and the well-crafted cutscenes contribute to Resident Evil 4's narrative that feels fresh, yet nostalgically familiar. What I wish would be improved from both Resident Evil 4 games and VR is third-person finishers. When I played a game in VR, I prefer to be more immersed and that sort of takes me out of the game. The remake's typewriter functions more as an inventory management tool, on top of allowing you to save. Although I wish typing on the typewriter is possible, like in the old game. Also, I wish they brought back some dialogue from the original game. Some dialogue were a classic. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man! Look, I'm not putting down one game over the other. In fact, I'm showing love to both the original and the remake versions of Resident Evil 4. While the remake brings in new Resident Evil fans, Capcom has captured the essence of what made Resident Evil 4 a beloved game, while pushing the boundaries of VR gaming. So what's your opinion on Resident Evil 4 Remake in VR? Comment your thoughts below. Do you prefer Resident Evil 4 Remake in VR or the original Resident Evil 4 game in VR? That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. This was my first time doing a heavy project like this. I was happy to create this for you all as someone who enjoyed this game and the series. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and that's all.